Hey, we're Alex and Lars. We've recently left land life to live aboard our 37-foot sailboat Navica full-time. Join us as we document the ups and downs of our life on the water as we sail and explore new places. Good morning, we are getting ready to leave this anchorage because we are going to Antibes. We've got a few errands to run so we're going to take the boat a bit closer and others getting ready with the thingy here. Hello. Good morning. First things first though, I need a coffee. Got up, you meditated for ages. I rolled out of bed like an hour later. <laughs> and then uh, went for a quick dip, packed up shop, and, uh, and we're off. It's like 8.30. It's a pretty cool feeling, isn't it? Just it's moving cool. your whole home. And it's also nice at this time of day. It's so beautiful and so quiet. Yeah. to concentrate your mind fix it upon whatever you like I'm drunk on the time to bring the bevel okay yeah I think if you just get rid of those long stems you think and then let it start growing from other other ones yeah and then over here we have our little homegrown lettuce from a lettuce end which has worked out pretty well actually it's pretty awesome uh, but we'll probably only get like three lettuce leaves and we got our mint plant here pretty good. yeah he's looking okay it just gets a little bit yellow at the bottom but I think it's just really really dry or it's just they need this guy needs watering like several times a day get a little garden on the water going so it'll be interesting to see how well they deal with like salt water over a long period of time right Crazy, but Lars and I used to live over there. One of those flats on the water. Lars and I used to come here and swim and free dive and have a couple of beers at the end of the day. Didn't we? Yeah. So much fun. It's so cool to be back. Yeah, it's awesome. We haven't been back here since we lived here, so it's really nice to be here this time, but like with our home. We made our way over to Antibes to run some errands, drop off some of our ditty bags that we sold to a local shop there, and made the most of our time to treat ourselves to an ice cream too. This is our favorite ice cream in the whole world. Of all time. I just got coconut and mango, and Lars just got coconut and kiwi. And it's just so good. They make it with the fruit from the market up here. And so like it's whatever's in season. We've been dreaming of this day for so long. Dropping off 10 bags. Yeah, it's so awesome. Feels good. Feels really good. I mean, we've walked pretty far to get here. Yeah, although I took the longboard. <laughs> well, pretty successful day of errands, right? We are hoping to pick up some chain from uh, the guy that we bought the batteries off, but we went to his boat, but he wasn't there. He's gonna give us 30 meters of chain for free, which is awesome. That was a new man. Yeah. Looks so much. Pressure. Pressure. I feel pressure. It's a relief. So, <laughs> where to start? Yeah. Well, we're just going to head back out to the island. There's a bit of swell forecast, but then all of a sudden this wind's picked up. And now we're just like motoring into Woo. 26 knots and really, really tight and high waves. We've gotten totally caught out by it, so the boat's not ship shape. We just went for a swim. Yeah, we just made a we bit casual about it. Yeah, and it's, it's mad out here. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. 
You can never see it. It's bad on the camera though, can you? Can you can never tell. The boat is an absolute tip. <laughs> Back on the islands, we took the time to crack on with some more boat projects. The faster we could get them all done, the faster we could set off to Corsica. How do I put a, an ending on here? And which one do I need to take it off? Rigid scraper? <laughs> Munching. Food on the go. Food on the go. It's been busy for a Saturday. We've done a lot of jobs oh. today. Put the anchor chain in, fix the dinghy up, epoxied all the holes in the deck, put in some extra plugs in. Um, be tidying up. <clears throat> now we got the really fun job that we've been dreading for a long time of uh, getting the car cleaned and ready and polished and everything to get some photos up and sell it. I really didn't feel like it. Me neither. And we got our friends in the islands, just having a ball and we're barbecue and partying it out, but we just need to get it done. You're right. We won't regret it. No. Maybe we can go later anyway. Yeah, and we'll feel so good. Yeah. Go down, press down, press down. Didn't have to put it in neutral. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to put it in Never. Are you in neutral? Yeah, yeah. I'm no, no, I don't think you are. Back. What do you mean? Back. That way. Now you're in neutral. <laughs> <laughs> Full speed. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are they going to slow down? <laughs> Just remember, you just gotta drop it down to uh, oh, turtle. Yeah, I know. I the way I had that was a problem. <laughs> Standing again. <laughs> One final time. Yeah, take a look at this. Dust, dust, everywhere. Dust everywhere. Come oh, wow. Close. Yeah, there's a close. serious dust storm. But the idea now is to Semco, which is the treatment that will mean that we don't have to touch the decks anymore. Super excited. We finally have it. Be done. Done. Wait, basically, what the Sem Semco does is it like seals, well, does it seal it? Yep. So it seals it. It seals it and it stops it from going as grey. We're only going to be able to do the cockpit today, I think, but we'll try and attack the rest of the deck. Oh, what happened? I got my blood on the deck. That's disgusting. I was like, what's this red mark? And then it's, I've cut my... Dum dum dum! No! Oh no. Can you sand it out? <gasps> Have you got it everywhere? No, I noticed pretty quick, so... It's the bloody deck. Moment of truth. So what the teeth is gonna look like. And then you just let it soak in. Yo, I got it. Wine. Some leftovers from yesterday. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Good work today. To the Semco. Yeah, to the Semco, finally. <laughs> Mm 
Good morning. This is probably my favorite time of day. Before everybody's up, before the bottom boards have arrived. Time for a swim. And we're off. <laughs> <laughs> it's an early start. <laughs> yeah, just not enjoying it. There it is. After everything we've seen, we still believe that we are free. Yet we sing the song of our chains. It's been said that the Okay, wait. It's pretty amazing how much. Just pop it down. Trash to accumulate. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should try and get better at it. But we have so many tins. We're on our way to the lighthouse, and there's this forest that people have talked to us about. It's on the top of this cap. The walk here is just like Beverly Hills. It's, it's a bit tropical, kind of Beverly Hills. And like each, one of these, so each one of these houses is absolutely enormous. Just ended up in this forest. It's cool, huh? Yeah, it's really cool. I didn't expect this at all. I think a hidden forest. You really wouldn't tell, like you're just on the street and it's super residential. And all of a sudden you just come across the forest. I didn't even know there was room for a forest. We walked up to the lighthouse, which is at the highest point on the Cap d'Antibes. From here, you can just about see the two anchorages on either side of the peninsula that we regularly jump back and forth between, depending on which way the wind and swell are coming from. Top of the gap. We're starting to run out of water, so we picked up about 20 litres yesterday in our jerry can from Ed's. Um, so Lars is just filling that up, and then what we're going to try and do is fill up the um, fill up the jerry can with some rainwater. So we'll see how well that goes, because it's the first time we've we'll tried. But if you don't try, you don't know, right? Let's see. I don't know. I'm trying to think how to collect some rain. I'm sure there's a way. I mean, there's so much water falling in the boat, we can probably collect some of it. I'm wondering if there's like a spot up on the mast where there's just like some collecting or... I don't know, so I'm gonna grab Ooh, a funnel. Good point. Let's go fill up the Don't forget your stuff! <laughs> can't go anywhere, can't do anything really. I need to go to the post office to send off a bag, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. <laughs> so I decided to just brave getting soaked. Uh, I just realised that I have a apple sticker in my hair. <laughs> How did this happen? How's it going? Not as smoothly as I'd hoped. So, got the, slip, get the slippers out again for the first time in a while. <laughs> I'm matching. <laughs> Give me five. I'm sorry, every time it rains, we discover new leaks. 
And you think like, don't worry about it, but there's something really just demotivating about mm -hmm. a leak. Because you don't know where it's coming in from, you know, it's causing damage. And it just feels like this unstoppable force. We hold down on the boat for the day, getting on with life admin jobs whilst we waited out the heavy rain. It's just stopped raining for the first time in like 12 hours or something. So it was the first time we're able to come up on deck. Still pretty choppy. My dinghy's filled up with lots of water. We are moving so much. <clears throat> we managed to fill up the decks though, the tanks, which is really cool. Uh, plus all the tanks are filled, right? Almost, almost. Still not bad though, yeah, considering. It's, water, though. it's pretty cool. It's a great feeling. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you like these videos. Join us next time as Lars has to be on anchor watch through an unexpected shift in the weather in the middle of the night. We install our new water maker, have some friends come visit and continue prepping the boat to leave the area for good.